regular finals. All right, so we're going to go back on with live action. Nicholas Nelson, first out, 11.25 meters. We go with the last completed run for each of our athletes. 11.25 meters. Nicholas Nelson. Skiing out in number five, position number five, and uh, Nick and uh, Lucas Cornell uh, skied out in position number three off the dock. Let's have a look and see who prevails. 11.25 meters. Here we go, Nicholas Nelson. Round number three, looking in go for four, and straight off the dock into 11.25 meters and he gets it to go yeah there you go nicholas nelson six buoy count 11.25 minutes one heck of a pass there so now 10.75 meters looms he's going to set the target for lucas cornell to attack Got broken over a little bit off number one, but then he got everything working for him off number two. His offside turn, number three. He continued to, uh, to keep the pace running. Some great, great slalom action there, courtesy of uh, Nicholas Nelson from Mexico. Round all six buoy is 11.25 meters, fist pump at the end. What a tremendous effort. Here we go, folks. Here and now, boys slalom final, the runoff for the win. Nicholas Nelson, 10.75 meters, gets the start on number one. He's round buoy number two. Can he get outside number three? Yes, he does. Even more so, can he get outside number four? Ooh. It's going to come down to inches, folks. Gets the ski round number four, but does he get enough of it to score? This is going to go to a video review, and we're looking at one of the angles that our officials will take a look at to determine whether he makes it round buoy number four to score a portion of that buoy. Gets the first two buoys under his belt, looking at the instant replay round number three. And up to that, he leapt up onto the back of the ski. And so is that three and a quarter or three and a half? It's three buoys confirmed. Three buoys has been confirmed by our officials. He'll swim into shore. Three buoys has been awarded to Nicholas Nelson on the basis of that performance. Seemed that the handle came away from his grasp before the ski had a chance to begin its arc around the turn. So now coming into the course, there is a Nicholas Nelson still in the course as a matter of fact. But coming in towards the slant course, 11.25 meters. This is Lucas Cornell from Australia. Rotates in. Good to go around buoy number one. Oh, and he goes down on buoy number two. And that therefore means that your winner of the Boys Slalom Championship of the World is going to be Nicholas Nelson of Mexico. So Nicholas Nelson swimming into shore. Lucas Cornell are going down on 11.25 meters on the opening pass. And looks like the ski tip is going up in the air. Uh, and Lucas Cornell is protesting this one. Lucas Cornell is protesting this one. And I think the reason why he is protesting is because Nicholas Nelson took his time to swim out of the course and provided too much of a distraction going forwards. 
That skis in high in the air, making sure that the officials know. A confirmed protest has been uh, it's been lodged towards the officials. This might not be over. And as he fell, he threw, he threw his hands in, uh, uh, in resignation there. But he might have a lifeline, depending on how the, the judges interpret this. Official protest is going on, folks. We're looking down the shoreline and uh, picking up uh, uh, Nicholas Nelson. Could this uh, protest, is it going to be denied or upheld? Wow, exciting moments here. It could come down to how the, the judges uh, view this. Our chief judge, uh, Jeff Smith, is yeah, on dockside right now. How is this going to turn out? Okay, looks like the officials are going to go to video evidence. Lucas Cornell explaining his, uh, his, uh, his position from his point of view as to... Uh, wow. And I mean, from my point of view, and I mean, this is strictly my point of view and no, no, no official support on this one. But I mean, I mean, Nicholas Nelson did take a little bit of a while to swim out of course. And that could have that could have uh, provided a, uh, a, a distraction there that might have uh, thrown uh, uh, Nicholas Cornell's uh, performance uh, uh, right off kilter. Skier out of Australia, Lucas Cornell. We're listening on Dockside. The protest has been denied, and that means, therefore, that the World Junior Boys Slalom Champion for 2022 from Mexico is Nicholas Nelson. Nicholas Nelson, your champion of the world in silver medal spot, Lucas Cornell of Australia, and in third spot, Vincenzo Marino of Italy. There is your podium. Nicholas Nelson, Mexico, Lucas Cornell, Australia, and third place, Vincenzo Marino. Under rather con controversial circumstances, that is the end of the Junior Boys Slalom Championship of the World for 2022 here at the IWWF U17 World Championships. There is the leaderboard. Nicholas Nelson, three at 10.75. Lucas Cornell, three at 10.75 but a runoff de determined that Nicholas Nelson was your winner. Vincenzo Marino with two at 10.75 is uh, in third place via superior backup ahead of uh, Clarence Laveau with two at 10.75 and Demir Flaratov with also with two at 10.75, both of those skiers tied for fourth. Charlie Ross in six with one and a half at 10.75. Jaime Palomino with five at 11 for seventh. Eighth place, Benjamin Susie with four and a half at 11.25 meters. Tied with Jaden Need with that same score for that same position. Sebastian Futral with three at 11.25 meters. Martin Labra with two at 11.25 meters for 11th. And Jake Abelson in 12th spot with five on 12 meters. And that concludes uh, that event. We will go on to our championship in the jump event for the girls and the boys uh, momentarily. We'll, uh, we'll take a little bit of a break, grab some lunch, grab, you, grab yourself a little beverage or two and uh, get ready because the championship of the world in the girls and boys jumping events will take place right after this break. Couldn't get any more bizarre.
The officials, uh, armed with uh, more information, have made the decision. They have reversed their denial of that protest. It means that Lucas Cornell goes back out onto the water and uh, tries again on 11.25 meters. Not over yet by a long shot. So, the protest has been upheld now by our officials. Now that the officials have the information that they that they really needed to make a determination on that. So, let's explain a little bit what happened there. Lucas Cornell on 11.25 meters on his opening pass in the runoff. Got round buoy number one, and then just take a look at his eyes. Just take a look at his eyes going down course, looking down and uh, seeing that uh, Nicholas Nelson was still very much inside the buoy line of the slalom course. And, uh, and that meant that he provided enough of a, of a distraction to warrant a re-ride on that opening pass at 11.25 meters, that is where we are at right now. So, for the championship of the world, Lucas Cornell will come into the course once again at 11.25 meters. Just a reminder that the top score from Nicholas Nelson was three at 10.75 meters. Tying the score that he produced in regulation. All right then folks, for all the marbles now, this is Lucas Cornell out of Australia, coming to us out of the state of Queensland. I know, I know. I know, because it was not one problem. Like, one doesn't see, one doesn't see. In the foreground, we see his father, Peter Cornell, a great legendary Australian slalomer himself. Still competes. All right, here we go. Lucas Cornell coming in on 11.25 meters. He knows he needs to get around all six on this run to, con to continue on. Here we go. That's number one. That's number two, he's still there. Round buoy number three, Take, making the most of his opportunity once again. Ladies and gentlemen, Lucas Cornell, six on 11.25 meters. And I tell you what, I mean, comparing that pass to the one that he produced in the regulation round of skiing, he skied this one better this time did he did in the regular round with 11.25 meters. He was struggling up and down to run this pass in the regulation round of skiing in the, the slalom final, but this one he made it, made it look like 12 meters instead of 11. Lucas Cornell out of Australia now has a golden opportunity ahead of him. He's got silver medal in his back pocket already, but he can upgrade that to gold, provided he can throw that ski outside buoy number four. Can he do it, folks? 10.75 meters, Lucas Cornell approaching the course. The lead score is three. Here he comes, buoy number one, gets it to go, loads up on one, he's round number two, looking in and go, he's round number three, can he make it outside buoy number, and he's inside four, it's a double runoff. We're taking a look at this via review. He's swimming into the shore. The score for Nicholas Nelson was three. We're waiting on the official score. From the sublime to the ridiculous, folks. 
even got this far down 10.75 meters easier than he did in the uh, the original slalom final. Let's have a look at the instant replay. Does he get it? Oh, and it's inside four. Looks like it's inside four. And if that is the case, if the officials rule that that is a three buoy count on 10.75 meters, it would go to a double runoff. Double runoff has been confirmed. Let's pick him up. Let's also bring Nicholas Nelson back into the game as well. And because we're going into another round of, uh, of, of skiing, still the case that both competitors will go in on a lap. Okay, and in this instance, in phase two of double runoff, we've got Cornell to take to the water first. A double runoff for first place for the championship of the world. The only person that has a confirmed spot on the podium is Vincenzo Marino with his score of two at 10.75 meters and a superior backup of two and a half at 10.75 meters compared to at least two other competitors that have tied with him in the final. So double runoff time. Lucas Cornell, 11.25 meters, same starting line length situation exists. It would only change if they tied it once again. Then it would be sudden death. Here we go. Coming in, Lucas Cornell, 11.25 meter start. Good strike on number one. A little bit delayed off number two. Round number, oh, and he goes down on buoy number three. And unfortunately unable to grip the line and continue going, but it's gonna be two and a half, 11.25 meters. And Lucas Cornell will swim into the shore. So now that becomes the target for Nicholas Nelson to exceed for the world championship title. He's gotta get Around buoy number three and to the wakes on the strength of uh, Lucas Cornell's effort out there. 11.25 meters just stalled uh, the ski in the turn and the handle uh, generated too much slack towards the end. Brought the handle up high to suck up the, uh, the excess uh, line and uh, that results in a score of two and a half at 11.25 meters. So here we go. So Nicholas Nelson has been uh, has been offered a gift here, courtesy of Lucas Cornell. Two and a half buoys at 11.25 meters. The target that Nicholas Nelson has to exceed in order for the World Championship title. And yes, we have confirmed that the skier is out of course. So now, with the course totally clear of obstruction, we will continue on with Nicholas Nelson. About to take to the water on that opening pass. 11.25 meters, does not have to run it. He just needs to get around three and to the wakes to secure a world championship title. Certainly not the easiest of tasks to, uh, to undertake. Going in on 12 meters is hard enough for the pros, but imagine going in on 11.25 meters and being a junior athlete. Same boat speed, 58K maximum. Right, let's see what he's got. He's gotten three buoys at 10.75 meters twice. Once in regulation, once in the runoff. Here we go, the double runoff. 11.25 meters. Boat speed up to 58K, here we go. Entrance, number one. Round number two. Bulks up on two, he's round number three to the wakes and he is your world champion. Nicholas Nelson of Mexico. 
three buoys at 11.25 meters, and that is a done deal. Your new world boys slalom champion with a score of three in the runoff, in the double runoff, having produced a score of three at 10.75 meters in regulation. It is Nicholas Nelson looking at the instant replay, and you knew that he was skiing for the target. He wasn't wasn't aiming to run the pass. He was run run. He was aiming to run three buoys exclusively to the wakes. And there we go. Managing to get that ski in front of the next set of boat guides just in time. So here we are with the podium graphic. Once again, Nicholas Nelson ahead of Lucas Cornell. And in third place is Vincenzo Marino. All right then, folks, let's give it up for him, please. Your new world slalom champion in under-17s, it is Nicholas Nelson. All right, so let's take a look at the little boys' slalom leaderboard one more time. Nicholas Nelson, your champion. Lucas Cornell in second. Vincenzo Marino in third. And then you see uh, Laveau, Filaritov, Ross, Palomino, Susi, Ede, Futral, Labra, and Abelson. So.